Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel A Media Life. My name is Anna. Thanks for tuning into this video today. So today's video is very important because recently with Zoom that there, there has been something going on about Zoom bombing. FBI has warned that there has been hackers who are uninvited coming into meetings and being disruptive, um, you know, with inappropriate material and so forth. So stay tuned to this video and I'm going to give you five quick tips on how to keep your meetings secure and private so this doesn't happen to you. So without further ado, let's head on over to the computer screen. But before we do that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel with that bell notification icon so you can stay up to date when I launch my next video. Okay, everyone, here we are at the computer screen. So stay tuned. Here are the five quick tips. So quick tip number one is lock your meeting. So you'll come to zoom.us, the main page for Zoom. You're going to go into host a meeting with video on or video off, but I, I selected with video on and then it'll take you to this um, window. So you're, you'll basically open the application, open Zoom. So here we are, this is, my webcam is turned off, but um, uh, you'll be right here. So what you'll do is you'll go over here to manage participants. Right over here on the, on the right panel, it says participants, here are your participants. So you'll go over here on the right to more, and then here are some options. The last one says lock meeting. So you'll hit lock meeting, and there you go. So make sure you lock the meeting when all participants are are already inside your meeting room because if you lock it before all the participants are inside your meeting um, the others won't be able to come in because it's locked so that's quick tip number one so let's go to quick quick tip number two which is um, uh, create a different ID so you'll head on back um, and sign like sign into your account and it'll take you over here to this window basically it'll start off at the profile but you'll go um, to meetings and in meetings you'll go to schedule a new meeting and then when you scroll down this meeting ID this is quick tip number two is you got to make sure it's clicked on generate automatically because basically what this will do it will get you a new um, personal meeting ID every time a new one every time you host a new meeting so make sure that is clicked off so quick tip number three um, is the meeting password so make sure this require meeting password is clicked on and then this is the password so this password will be new every time so not only will your participants need the personal meeting ID but they'll also need this password both these to get into the meeting so that's like a double feature um, to have a security as well and then when you scroll down further just another thing is um, make sure this is disabled um, it says enable join before host make sure this is disabled um, you want the host to join first so quick tip number four is basically enable the waiting room so this enable the waiting room is basically whomever joins your meeting they go into this waiting room and then the host approves of their entry into the meeting which is another really great security feature um, so basically they join they come into this room I'm the host I basically pick and approve who enters my room or in this case my meeting so that's what enabling the waiting room is and then you would hit save so then over here on the left, go to settings. And I'm going to repeat basically what I just said because you'll see it all in the settings as well. So when you come down here, so this was the basically disabling the join before host. You want that disabled. 
Um, these two keep them disabled, use person ID, keep them disabled, but these are important as well to have clicked on these two. So require a password when schedule new, scheduling a new meeting, you want that enabled, and require a password for instant meetings, you want that enabled as well. So those two basically you want enabled because you want them to require to have that password along with the ID to enter the meeting, both on um, when your meetings are scheduled and instant meetings. So if you go down further, further down, another thing is this require encryption. This is just something on the side um, that I would like go into Google, go into search and do a little bit of research on it, what this is, but that's also an extra added feature. It's an encryption. Um, so just, I have it on, um, I would suggest having it on, but first do some research on that. So when we go down further, so the last quick tip number five is screen sharing. You want to limit the screen sharing to the host. So over here, um, basically you who can share, you want host only. So first enable it here, then click host only. So those are basically the five quick tips. If I scroll down further, just want to see if there's anything I missed that I can share with you guys. So here you go. So this was that waiting room that I was telling you, um, basically, um, that the attendees cannot join a meeting until the host admits them individually into the waiting room. So this is what I was talking about in quick tip number four was the waiting room. So make sure this is enabled. And then when you scroll down further, um, yeah, so that is it. Um, so basically, every time you enable something, it shows up in a little green platform here that it saves automatically. So those are basically the five quick tips on um, how to have extra security and privacy in your meeting. So I hope this video was of some assistance to my viewers. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up down below and as well subscribe to my channel with that bell notification icon so you can stay up to date when I launch my next videos. Take care, everyone. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. Set aside your worries, it's okay now The sun is here to stay